Hello MMORPG enthusiasts, you're probably familiar with the Warhammer universe, but did you know in 2008 EA published a Warhammer universe MMORPG called Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. On launch, the game peaked at around 800,000 subscribers, but only a couple months later it dropped more than half to only 300,000 subscribers. The game generally received positive reviews, but it couldn't compete with the World of Warcraft releasing Breath of the Lich King and a huge influx of new MMORPGs. This led to Warhammer Online closing its servers in 2013, only five years after its launch. Officially the game closed due to a license agreement coming to an end with Games Workshop, but we all know it was because the game was losing massive amounts of players and bleeding out money. If there's one thing Warhammer Online did amazing, it's PvP combat. Warhammer Online had a realm vs realm PvP system, where two factions, order and destruction, battled to gain territory. Today, the game is playable on a private fan-made server, Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning, launched in 2014. So I decided to explore it myself and answer two questions. What killed Warhammer Online and why 600 players are still playing it at peak times today? Upon launching the game, I had a choice between two factions, the Order and the Destruction, and obviously I picked the most basic one, which is the Empire. Then I could choose between four different classes, and I chose the Wizard, since I usually play Wizards in MMORPGs. While there weren't many customization options, the ones they had were pretty funny, and I picked out this cool fire-looking wizard, and named it Grill Burger, since, you know, it grills burgers with his fire. Aye aye, the Grand Wizard. After taking a good look again at my character, I familiarized myself with the controls and I was ready to take on my first quest. I spoke with a man called Samuel Twitty and he gave me a quest to kill marauders. So here is the Warhammer Online combat. Oh, that takes a long time to do. And now I can do the meltdown. What? What's happening? Rugged boots. Thank you. After killing the marauders, I handed in my quest and leveled up, which gave me access to my noble steed, a horse, which you get from level 2. Whoa. Look at what? I get a mount. What is that walking animation? I ventured forth with my noble steed and saved villagers from a burning building. Oh, that was an instant kill. Can I get in? Get out. Get out of the building, guys. I'm here to save you. With the villagers saved, I was ready to go to my first village. In the village, I picked up a couple quests and wanted to welcome other players playing the game, telling them that I am online, but unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to speak in the global chat. Hello. I guess this is like a local chat. <laughs> Not bothered by my failures, I completed a couple quests around the town and went on to another mission, which was really an interesting mechanic where I had to shoot cannons with a cannon and I actually really enjoyed this quest. It felt like something different. Okay, cannons, click. Empire cannons. Repair. Enter sniper ammo to fire the cannon. Uh huh. What do I shoot? Oh, I guess other cannons. Makes sense. Shoot! Oh! Big damage. Shoot! <laughs> After destroying the cannons, I decided to check on the public quests, which is a cool mechanic in the game where players can participate in quests by fulfilling different activities in the region and then a big boss spawns at the end which you have to kill and the player who contributes the most receives the biggest reward public quest argon this unstoppable who's that what did the f what did the tree f what happened to the trees it just broke the tree just broke oh <gasps> i see uh-huh that's a champion can i kill it by myself how strong is it yes i'll just find out do the fireball Oh no, he's coming. Oh no, he's coming. Shield. Do the big damage. 
He's not that strong. Oh, he's dealing a lot of damage to me. I gotta be honest. Come on, no, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. Meltdown, meltdown, meltdown. Oh, let's go! Get wrecked, kid. Since I was the only person participating in the public quest, I got the best reward. Oh, and I can choose what I want. No, I think I want to go with the pauldrons. Yeah, they just look cool. So far, the game feels just like the title says, dead. After the public quest, I completed a couple more missions. And to be honest, they were very boring and pretty repetitive, except for this one where I had to get into this tomb, which is kind of like the first dungeon that I got. But I still want to do like a proper dungeon. So I decided to do more public quests, but unfortunately it didn't go as planned. The final public quest boss turned out to be too strong for me. So I decided to utilize the MMO features and ask for help, which is where I made a friend and together we actually conquered the final boss. But for me, the most important was that I actually found another player and I could communicate with him and we became friends. At this point, I was starting to feel more confident in my abilities, which is why I decided to finally take on the challenge and participate in a PvP battle. I have to be honest, it wasn't easy to find where the battles were happening, so I had to ask for help. But luckily, a lot of players were very helpful and they told me where I had to go. So here is my first PvP experience. Okay, that's an enemy. Kill him. Yeah, I got a renown rank four. That's how I get a renown. Oh, that's a lot of them. Shoot him. Need heals, need heals, guys. Please. Oh no, I'm getting shot. Oh, I did lose a lot of health. So many, so many notifications. What level are these guys? 9, 10, 14? 14 mainly. Yeah, 14. 10. I think I'm like one of the lowest levels. One of the ways players can participate in Warhammer Online PvP from rank 1 is by joining territory control battles. Both factions fight together crates by capturing banners. The victory score increases upon delivering the crates and the first faction to reach 100% victory score and control all capture points wins the battle. Our faction was winning but we still needed two banners from enemy territory, which is why I mustered all the forces we had and marched to the enemy territory. Come on ride. Riders of Rohan. We got a small force, we can take the flag. Come on, let's secure this and we can get to the next one. What's happening back? Oh, we're holding it. Nice. Focus on the healers, focus on the healers. Kill him. He's been deserted by his friends. Nice, let's go. And this victory marked the end of my first PvP battle. And to be fair, it was super enjoyable and pretty fun just running around the battlefield with so many players, even though this game is considered dead. I found myself not doing quests anymore, I was just participating in a PvP combat and I did a couple other skirmishes, it was pretty fun. The one fun thing that I did is I learned I had an ability, an AoE ability, to cast a big fireball which does AoE damage and I did a ton of damage to other players uh, while casting them in big groups. Then I learned about this strategy to hide on a ship which was pretty funny, I, it, it just led to a couple funny interactions with other players 
players. Overall, the PvP experience was super enjoyable, and I just found myself, even while editing the video, doing PvP from time to time, just going into the game, playing a couple matches of PvP, controlling a couple territories. Also, you can see a lot of players who are playing the game for many years. They're making new characters and participating in rank 1 PvP, since from what they can they told me is the most enjoyable rank to play. It's so fun to see so many players doing the PvP in the first ranks, and you can always find groups to play with. In the end, I spent some time just walking around the city and imagining what it was like when there were thousands of players playing the game, and chatted with some old players and new players just to see what brought them to the game and why they were enjoying, and many of them said that the PvP combat, again, is just something that they cannot find in other MMORPGs. So to answer the question, what killed Warhammer Online? I gotta be honest, the questing and the PvE content, in my experience, is lacking. It's very outdated and even at the time, uh, it couldn't compare with other games like World of Warcraft. And even my decent PC experienced performance issues multiple times during the game. And the combat felt clunky, even though the PvP was super fun and enjoyable. And in my opinion, the reason why still 600 players are playing this game at peak times, it's the love for Warhammer lore and the community and of course the PvP which I've mentioned multiple times in this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave in the comments which dead MMORPG I should explore next. See you in the next adventure, bye bye!